can't show them this. Captain, I don't see the no, problem. But, but it's got the, the thing and the thing and the... Oh, okay, just show them. The deep ocean, as my grandfather Jacques Cousteau probably said, is dark and full of mysteries. None more important to us humans than how we went from this to this. This is the acorn worm. They have no eyes, no brain, no sense organs, and subsist mostly on a diet of, well, dirt. They're also the link between vertebrates and invertebrates. Approximately 70% of our genes trace their ancestry back to the acorn worm. Fascinating. This phallus-shaped worm was discovered in the Burgess Shale in Canada's Yoho National Park almost a hundred years ago. The fossil went unnoticed until... Hold on. Jean-Bernard, how's it hanging? Bonsoir, Philippe. All is well, thank you. How'd you find that worm again? I was at the Smithsonian DC taking a closer look at their warp force collection from the Burr shell. And using modern technology, I managed to find that some of these worms belong to a group called the acorn worm. And I said, oh my gosh, this worm really connects a lot of evolution dots. And has remained almost unchanged for more than 500 million years. Mon dieu, 500 million years? That's incroyable! We think that at some point, the acorn worm abandoned their habitat and opted instead to dig into the sediment and eat mud. Mud, eh? Thanks, Jean Bernard. The acorn worm, the missing link between vertebrates and invertebrates, without which we might all still be eating dirt. Give it a try. I hear it builds the immune system. 